Hi, this is Deanna Williams, Marketing Coordinator at the Aver Center, and today I'm here with esteemed Hollywood producer, Charles Floyd Johnson. Um, he is known for producing such shows as NCIS, JAG, and Magnum PI. So Charles, um, first I'd like to ask, what inspired you to direct our Averett production of The Gin Game? Uh, it, you know, directing The Gin Game has been uh, sort of a, a goal of my, my dear friend, Michael Whitaker. Uh, Michael and I were friends uh, for so long. I, I know we want to talk about how long it was, but it's going on six de decade, decades. We met when we were 17 year, years old at Howard University. We were both interested in theater. And over the years, I've come down to Statesboro a couple times to do uh, things for Michael, uh, master classes. And one of the things we talked about, wouldn't it be fun to work together? on something finally, and we never got a chance to do that. So the gin game came up, Michael saw a production in New York. Uh, the last cast was Cicely Tyson and James Earl Jones, and he watched it then and said, I want to do that. And he talked to Carol Thompson, who I've also met over the years, and voila, we worked it out. I don't know if you know that I was teaching a, a class at Georgia Southern this spring, and they felt that we could kind of work out rehearsals and the Georgia Southern teaching thing, and it all fell together, and here we are. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Y'all known each other for a long time. Yes. That actually leads me to my next question. Um, what, what was it like working with not only just Michael, but also Carol and Kelly Berry and just all the production team? Like, you know, working with Michael and Carol and Kelly Berry and all of the students and all of the production people has been a dream because I wasn't able to be here the entire rehearsal. Uh, so, first of all, Michael has been teaching acting for years. He's been acting for a long time, as is Carol. They had a long history in a production everyone knows about Driving Miss Daisy. Uh, so I felt like I was in good hands with the two of them, uh, having worked together, having wanted to do this play. I think Michael wanted to do a little more than Carol wanted to do. Carol was a little nervous about the mechanics of the card playing and all. But she's embraced it well. Um, and then Kelly, who I've known since I started uh, visiting here, uh, has just been a dream. He's been taken on. He's been my assistant director. He's put the, the, the set together. He's put the crew together. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better partner. Um, there are people like Wesley Fuller, Amy Pressler, and so many others uh, that I'm working with here. I, I really feel um, blessed and, and uh, comfortable with people who want to do the play and want me to do the play, so I feel very welcome. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad that the, you know, production team, so they've been really nice to you and you've been getting along really well, so that's yeah. good. Um, so my last question is, this is kind of getting a little off topic from Gin Game, but I'm just, I think me and like our viewers would be curious to know, what do you think has been your greatest accomplishments in your years of being a famous Hollywood producer? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a tough question. <laughs> I've been, I've been doing it for so long. Uh, I've been producing since 1974, um, and I've done lots of things, but uh, I think my greatest accomplishments have been uh, all the series I've done, because I think if you start picking out, I like this one better than the other, uh, you know, it's like saying, which of your children do you like best? Uh, but I think two of my greatest accomplishments have been uh, working on film, about the Tuskegee year called Red Tabs. Uh, it was a wonderful film where I met a lot of those men who are now not with us. A few of them are still left. Uh, telling their story of how they were brave uh, at a time when they weren't wanted in the military. So for me, uh, that was one of my greatest accomplishments. My other is I did a film about three years ago, a documentary on Congressman John Lewis called Get In The Way and it's about his incredible career and life uh, in civil rights and now in our, con our Congress. Those two things are really stand out for me. I've got a lot of others, but i got to narrow it down and you only have a certain amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well those are two really good documentaries, so that is a great accomplishment, Thank I will you. say. Um, so do you have anything else that you'd want to say to our general audience? Only that, the play is a wonderful play about um, aging, about relationships, about people's lives and career goals and, and failures. Uh, 
I think they'll learn a lot. I, I think the, the actors are, are people who they'll enjoy watching. Uh, so come see the gin game and uh, enjoy its uh, treasures with us. Okay, thank you so much for spending time with us, Charles. It was really nice talking to you. Thank you. <laughs>